It's a cartoon for tweens about biblical themes. They produce little plays, they get carried away. A flamingo, a sock, yeah, most things can talk. Connect. There's Tina and Joey and Becky and Todd. There's Lena and Jerry, they're already on fire. They still find a way to learn more about God. God. Excuse me, is this the location of the Son of Man meet and greet? Sorry, my friend, but the house is full. But our friend is paralyzed, and we heard this Jesus guy is healing all kinds of ailments. Blindness, leprosy, death, shingles. Sorry, we are at capacity. It's all right, guys. It's not all right. We've got to get in there. But the door is so crowded. I've got it. We'll dig our own door, on the roof. I knew we brought old Bessie for a reason. Excuse me, sorry to interrupt. Yes? We were wondering if you could heal our friend here? Son, your sins are forgiven. I am a Pharisee, a religious leader of the community, and you do not have the authority to forgive sins. Only God can forgive sins. This is blasphemy, punishable by stoning! And on a side note, you didn't actually heal him, which was the whole reason we went as far as putting a giant hole in the roof of someone's house. Which is easier, to say to this paralyzed man, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up, take your mat, and walk. I tell you, get up, take your mat, and walk. More blasphemy! God is the only one who has the authority to heal! <sighs> Sorry you broke your leg, and your arm, and several ribs, and possibly suffered a concussion, Lena. Thanks, Tina. How long do you have to stay in the hospital? Doctor said at least a week. Well, we'll come and visit you often. Speak for yourself, Beck. Hospitals give me the willies. Ahem! Ah! Visiting hours are over. You all need to get out. Uh, the sign outside said visiting hours were until 8. My ship! My rules! Out! Ah! Ah! Bedtime! Lights out! But... Hmm. Get well soon, Lena. Hey, guys. You ready to go visit Lena? I'd love to, Joy, but I need to write these costume notes. It's usually Lena's job. <laughs> I'm too busy covering her sweeping shifts. Ugh. Did you know Lena filed the building's payroll tax each week? Should we be delegating so many tasks to a six-year-old? How about you, Todd? You up for visiting Lena? I'm not going anywhere near that nurse in her demented house of needles. Okay. It's just we said we would visit her. It's not like visiting her is going to help her recover any faster. We're not Jesus. We can't just heal Lena with the snap of our fingers. And we've just got so much to get done. Lena had many thankless tasks to cover. Look, guys, we're suffering without Lena. And you know what? She's suffering without us. When Jesus healed the sick, he healed not only their ailments, but he brought those who were alienated back into the community. We need to reach out to Lena, let her know that she's still an important part of the theater. But Lena's stuck in the hospital. How can she be part of the theater when she's not in the theater? By bringing the theater to her. What about that deranged nurse? How will we get past her? She is pretty terrifying. Uh, couldn't help it over here, kids. And maybe Larry and I could be of some assistance. No, Zenobia, may I have a coloring book? A hospital is not a vacation! I'm just a little bored. Healing is a sterile, boring, removed, vacant process. Excuse me, can you tell me which floor is menswear? This is a hospital. Really? Are baboons allowed in this hospital? Of course not! Well, that's strange, because there's one right over there. <laughs> Excuse me.
me, is this the location of the Son of Man meet and greet? Sorry, my friend, but the house is full. But our friend is paralyzed. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,